Well, hey, y'all are this afternoon. It's your buddy George Jones over here at the uh, Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on. Hey, I got this old used gun. The old used gun I got today is this guy. This guy right here. And you look at this guy and you say, hey, that's a Colt. Uh, no, baby. <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> this is a Maruku, Japanese-made copy of a Colt agent. Uh, this is the Maruku. Now, Maruku firm, the Maruku manufacturing firm in Japan is a fairly reputable, long-standing engineering firm which produces firearms. Typically, they produce firearms on contract to importers and other manufacturers. Uh, today, you can buy Maruku barreled actions uh, to custom build rifles on. Uh, you can buy Maruku rifles under several different brands. Uh, the Maruku firm manufactured Brownings for many years in Japan, along with the Hawa firm. Um, those are about the only two commercial gun manufacturers in Japan currently. Now what happened was, back in the 1960s, in the mid-1960s, they decided to manufacture a line of police and personal defense type service pistols and import them in the United States for commercial sale. And what they wound up doing was they imported this guy, which was a very close copy of um, a Colt agent, and they imported a 4-inch 38 caliber revolver with a full-size grip, which was very similar to a Model 10 Smith & Wesson. Uh, Colt and Smith & Wesson uh, didn't much like that at all because they were unlicensed copies. They didn't have a manufacturing license with them. They didn't have a, you know, any kind of a business arrangement with them. So they immediately went to court uh, and stopped the importation of these guns. And this particular gun was cut off at about 1,500. So there's only, there was only 1,500 of this particular gun in existence 50 so years ago. And 75, 85, 95, 2005, 2015, you know, um, you know, it's 50, 50 years, almost 60 years ago. But I picked one of these guys up and uh, managed to uh, locate a it and uh, managed to get my paws on it. And we're going to talk about it. Uh, it works just exactly like Colt Revolver. It has the same style cylinder latch on it. Pull it back like that and dump it open. The cylinder turns in the same direction. And uh, it has the same style hammer on it as a Colt agent. Looks very similar to a Colt agent or Cobra, but not just exactly right. Okay. Um, so the proof is in the pudding. I got old 15, 15 yard uh, B21 police silhouette set up down there. Uh, let me round me up um, six rounds of. Um, of uh, Winchester full metal 125 grain target. Um, and get her slowly loaded up. All right. Get me some air mufflers on here. And let's try six rounds at the police silhouette down here. If you can see it looking dead into the sun. Okay, and see what we can actually do with this gun. Six rounds from a rest on double action. I see it. It's in the nine at 11 o'clock. Should be it. Yeah. 
All right, let's check our accuracy at 25 yards. Let's see what kind of accuracy this little gun will give at 25 yards. At the steel chest center at 25 yards, we'll do this on single. miss maybe a little bit too ambitious for it at this range that was a hit that was a miss struck side center mass I didn't like that at all Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you do when you get three heavy primer strikes and one light primer strike? Uh, don't know. Well, you back up and try that one again. That's how you do that. Maybe that was just a hard primer. Yep, I guess so. Oh, that was a hit. That was definitely a panger right there. <sighs> little bitty grip's hard to hold on to for me. Got a hand cramp trying to hold on that little bitty banana grip. <sighs> All right. Works. Let's go down here and see what the Target looks like. Look down here and check our Target. Target. What's our Target look like? Oh, well, we got one bullet hole in there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's kind of what you might call all over the place like a mad woman's underclothes, but they are around the point of aim. So. It's not the greatest pinpoint accuracy in the world, but it is consistent. It is pretty consistent. You can see it in the light. Get up there in the light. So, yeah. So at 15 yards, it's all on the black. Out in the nine ring, all the way around it. So, at seven or three yards, uh, you might be able to actually get it. So it's about the same, not, not any more or less than any other two inch revolver of that age. So it's not a dog. It, it's, you know, for the Japanese made Colt copy. Um, I don't know. <coughs> This gun's worth somewhere around, I don't know. I looked it up in the blue book over at the store this morning, couldn't find it. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Does it work? Yeah, it works. Will it work as a defensive firearm at close range, seven yards to 15? Yes, yes it will. Um, is it a good ergonomic feeling gun? No, no it's not. <laughs> uh, is it reliable? Yes, it is. I estimate the value of this gun to be somewhere in the neighborhood of $300 to $325. And that's about the size of it, you know. Uh, it's nothing to write home about, but uh, it is a serviceable firearm. Um, it doesn't shoot any better than the old uh, Model 40 RG, but at least it is made out of steel. Uh, a rare gun. Yes, highly collectible. I don't think so, but um, you know, it is what it is. It's a good serviceable firearm. It works. I may actually start carrying this gun instead of the RG40. <laughs> That's sad. Tackle bear out walking around with an RG. 
my god how low we sank um, on a side note I'd like to mention a little something about this gun uh, this is a Ruger 1022 that I picked up in a pawn shop for about $85 yesterday um, I've been cleaning the rust off of it it had a lot of rust on it, it had a lot of mung in the action uh, I cleaned the action out last night cleaned it up pretty good um, and I'm going to shoot it right here right quick with a 1994 manufactured Ramline magazine That's the battery but uh it was in, it looks pretty bad now. It's a bad looking gun right now. It was an absolutely horrible gun yesterday afternoon at three o'clock in the afternoon. The gun on safe. Dead into the sun he shoots. I looked this gun up. It was made in 1989. 89, 99, 2009, 2019, 40 year old gun. You know, 35 year old magazine. Uh, Ruger 1022. You can't kill them, buddy. You just can't kill them. There's not much you can say about it. Uh, this one's about 40 years old. It was an absolutely horrible, grubby, nasty condition yesterday when I picked it up. Um, you'll probably see more of this gun. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but uh, I'll probably make a fixer-upper project out of it. And uh, and as I fix it upper, as I fixitate it, I'll share a fight. All right, then. Uh, that's about the size of that. Last in next installment on eight. I got this old used gun. Uh, if you like my content, you know, uh, Patreon link in the description. Uh, otherwise, uh, like, take, commentate, sharify, and subscribe. Uh, just about to break 800, two more subscribers, 200 more subscribers, and I'll be able to give away the old uh, Heritage Rough Rider with two cylinders. Somebody's going to get it. Well, all right then. Thanks for watching my stuff, and I'll see you when we do another eight. I got this old used gun. We'll see y'all. Thank you.